and everyone was laughing because his socks were baggy. Oh, hello, and welcome to February's Mushroom of the Month. Hello, 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 what have we got here then? Well, I'll tell you it was a rhetorical question. Uh, Scarlet Elf Cup, and uh, they put on a beautiful display. Absolutely gorgeous. Perfect time to be finding these winter, early spring, a little splash of colour in these colder months. Um, so they can be found right from December, maybe through to April time. Um, in terms of where to find them, you want to be looking in damp areas, damp ditches, embankments, uh, very mossy spots under deciduous trees. This is willow, so tada, classic, uh, classic substrate, um, and especially you know log piles. And tada, you know what I mean? A, a mossy log. It's, uh, it's uh, textbook stuff. This. In fact, this morning I was at my son's football match. Uh, got a little bit bored at half time, thought I'd nip and look at the trees at the edges of this uh, pitch. He was playing away. It was an area I wasn't familiar with. Saw some mossy logs. Lo and behold, scarlet elf cups. That's not where I am right now. I've got better stories than that. In terms of how easy it is to find them, these guys are widespread across the country, but locally common, which means you can only find them necessarily in certain pockets. I'm very fortunate to have them here in the northwest, but I've got friends who never laid eyes on them. So keep your peepers peeled. You might be one of those folk how these guys grow so they start out i've got a little exit here we go they start out like a little ah uh, like a little goblet like that uh, quite deep and then as they age they'll open up that cup will open up and become flattened and they'll start to split and crack because the the flesh of this fungus is very thin size wise uh, we're talking about from one to five centimeters generally in fact in fact if i do an okay sign it's about the size of a hole in an okay sign Proper science, this. They do have a lookalike, uh, the Ruby Elf Cup, which traditionally was thought to be the orange variant. You can find an orange one of this. However, they think that's just a colour variant of this. The actual difference is microscopic. It's to do with the hairs. I've just realised I got this fabulous fungus top for Christmas and I've just found the first one on it. Let's have a look. Here we go. I've just found number 46. So if I put, if I put that next to it, there we go, look. 46 found in the bag. Wow, maybe I can make it kind of some uh, lifelong thing to try and find every fungus on my top. Or maybe I could do more exciting things with my life. Stay tuned, basic breath everybody. In terms of how they look, obviously it's beautiful. Oh, look, it was smoking. Just check that out. Sometimes if the breeze catches them, you'll see all the spores being released. So that's it from me and these guys today. Uh, keep your peepers peeled. Uh, thanks for having me. Ta-ra! Whoa, whoa, don't go anywhere. I've got a bit of an update for you. A Scarlet Elf Cup, uh, a Scarlet Elf Cup date. Thank you. Uh, because I've just found an orange variant. Look at this. Hello, you. On my way out of the park. Look how orange they are. In fact, if I bring in this guy, you'll see the difference. Look at that. This is the much rarer version I've ever found before. And made up. 